Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take Photoshop Elements and add a rainbow effect to it. If you see here, I've got a little rainbow effect here and if you notice on rainbows, the underneath part of the rainbow has a lot of water droplets that make it a little bit lighter than the rest of the photo. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go through your images and find some place that might actually have a rainbow. That would be some place that has high humidity or the dew point might be a little bit higher than normal. So in this one I borrowed from Sarah Ackerman over in the Creative Commons license of Flickr her photo of Hawaii. Now I know Hawaii gets lots of rain so let's go ahead and check this out on how I did it. Let's go and move to my layers palette and you can see that I have a background layer here. I have the layer that's kind of lightening with the uh, the moisture droplets there and then last but not least I've got the rainbow effect here. Okay the first thing I'm going to do is go to edit and I'm going to revert my image back to the original image. Now you notice that a little bit of this was off so what I want to do is I want to straighten out my horizon first of all. So I'm going to go over here under the straighten tool which is right here and it provides me with a tool that I can crop and remove the background. So what it's going to do is it's going to straighten it out and crop it for me. Now it gives me a little um, bullseye right here. I click and hold and I draw a line on where the horizon is and what it does is it straightens my photo up. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add two transparent layers. I'm using a little dog ear icon here in my layers palette so I'm going to click it once and I'm going to click it twice. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add the rainbow to my layer 2. Now adding the layer is simple as going over to your gradient tool which is this yellow blue icon right here click on that one and then up in the option bar you have some default gradients that are in here. Well one of the default gradients here is transparent rainbow so go ahead and click that one. Now the way that that works is you click and hold on how wide you want your rainbow to be so I want it to measure up to about the perspective of this photo so I'm going to do that and that's about how large my rainbow would be. Now the problem is this is a straight line obviously so we're going to go to our filter we're going to go to distort and as you've seen in the past we've used this one called polar coordinates which takes a square and makes it a circle and there we have it. Select OK and there there is our rainbow. Now the problem is it's not big enough I'm going to use my move tool and move it over here grab that it won't move if you grab a transparent pixel now what we can do is we can make it larger so I'm gonna make it a little bit larger pull it a little bit to the side and make it a little bit more oblong and then I'm gonna put the end somewhere over here on the actual island right there maybe a little bit smaller Alright, so there we have it. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to get rid of all this. So it's fairly easy if we go to our rectangular marquee tool and make sure it's not on fixed ratio, make sure it's on normal. And then we just draw a box somewhere right here where the horizon is. Draw a box and then click the delete key. And what that will do is get rid of the bottom of that rainbow. Hit command D to get rid of your marching ant. So there is our rainbow not too bad. Now what we need to do is give it a little bit of blur. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit by using my command plus key and then I'm going to scroll down so that you can see that. Now what I like to do is go to my filter and I like to go to blur. Now I want to add a little bit of a motion blur because a lot of times at the top of the rainbow it's a little less sharp than at the bottom of the rainbow because it's a little bit farther so I've got mine on 90, an angle of 90, and you're going to have to guess the distance because I don't know the resolution of your picture. So I'm just going to go over here and slide it so it just gives it a slight blur right there. Select OK. Now we need to give the whole thing a blur because this looks obviously too fake. So we're going to go over to Filter, Blur, and we are going to add a Gaussian blur to that. As you know, it's the infamous Gaussian blur. Now it's a little bit too much because you can't see the different colors, the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, which normally you can see, but you don't want it too much to where it's going to look too fake. 
So I've got mine at about 4.1 pixels and I'm going to select OK there. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to add something underneath it. Now normally when you have a rainbow there's dew droplets in here and it makes the rest of the picture look a lot lighter than it normally is. So I'm going to go over to my marquee tool and this time select elliptical marquee tool. I'm going to go to about the center of where that rainbow is and I'm going to hold down the option key and I'm going to draw something that's about the same size. Now I'm a little bit off so it's shifted to the left so I can move my arrow keys a little bit to the right. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that I am on layer 1. So go down to our layers palette and click on layer 1. And I want to fill that with white. Now if you don't already have the black and white in the uh, foreground and background, you can hit D on your keyboard and that will put the default colors black and white in here. Then it's a quick keyboard shortcut, the command delete or the control backspace, whichever one you have, a PC or a Mac. And then we have our white that's filled in. Now how do we get rid of our ants? Control D or Command D of course. Now this has too sharp of an edge to it. So once again we need to go to filter. Now it remembered that we did a Gaussian blur up here. So I'm going to use the same Gaussian blur right there. And there we have it. Now I need to get rid of the bottom of this white area right here. Um, and I actually made a little bit of a mistake. So I'm going to hit Command Z. What we need to do first of all is go to our rectangular marquee once again and then get rid of the bottom part of this white and now we need to go over to our filter and hit our Gaussian blur and there we have it now this is obviously way too much right there so we're gonna have to dial down the opacity so let's go ahead and slide that down over here and it's starting to look pretty good right there so I'm at about 31. You may want to dial it down maybe to 25 to give it a little bit more realism right there. So as you can see, it's darker up here and it's a little bit lighter down there. Now we need to click on layer 2 and of course the opacity of that one is quite a bit different as well. What I'm going to do is first I'm going to change this one to a blending mode of screen and see if I like that right off the bat. And screen does a pretty good job of going in there and making it a little bit lighter and then a little bit darker right here. Now we need to go to our opacity, click on our opacity and then slide that over and then it's going to start to dim the areas right here of our rainbow. Now if you don't like the screen you could go ahead and just leave it there or you can go uh, back to normal like I said and then we can select the opacity slider and take it down just a little bit if you want to try to do it that way and give your rainbow some a little bit more color in here. So you have your choice right there. You can put it on normal or you can go ahead and you can put it on screen and then dial down the opacity until you find something you like. And there we have it. A nice little rainbow right here in our picture that we've added. Now of course this is going to take a little bit more time to make it more realistic but this gives you the basic steps to be creating your rainbow on your picture. This is Chucky from Digital Goulash. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a thumbs up, and pass the link on to your friends. Cheers!